We are getting a better look this morning at the damage at a high school in Compton after a massive fire last night. Yeah, it burned for hours, and now students are being kept away from campus. KCAL News reporter Tina Patel is live at Dominguez High School with what investigators are saying this morning. Tina. Well, good morning. You know, students already had a long weekend because yesterday was President's Day. Now they are getting another day off, this time because of the cleanup that is just now getting underway. Crew showed up within the last hour. They're just starting the assessment right now. Take a look at this video from SkyCal. It shows what fire crews had to battle last night. This fire started just after 7 o'clock in the cafeteria, and it looks like crews were able to keep the fire from spreading to the rest of the school, but it took them several hours to get that fire out and then to deal with all the hot spots. Crews from around the region were brought in to help. They are still not sure how this fire started. Fortunately, because it was the evening and because it was a holiday, not a lot of people were around. No one was injured. But since school officials are still trying to figure out the extent of the damage and how the cleanup is going to go, they decided to be cautious. They canceled school for at least today. They say they're working on plans to resume instruction and will be contacting staff with details on that. Now, we just talked to a member of the security team, and he told us what it means to lose the cafeteria. To us, it's, it's a big deal because we have after school programs, and cause, plus, our kids have to eat early in the morning. It's a big area for our kids to eat as well. You know, um, it's, it's a, a tough loss for us right now. And that man's a graduate of this school. He lives down the street, so he said he could see the flames from his home. And, and he said it was really tough to see this. He has a lot of memories here. He says he's going to do whatever he can to make sure that students are able to return safely. In the meantime, Clinton Elementary School is just down the street. They are able to provide meals for students who normally come here and get their breakfast and lunch. They can go to that school today to at least get meals taken care of while they try to figure everything else out. We'll send it back to you.